The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, boys. We're going to take a look here at the hourly chart here of the Treasury bonds. If you remember, we were looking at this 382 yesterday. This was right when we were on the show. Uh, we did get a little above it. Uh, the number we were looking at was 123.31, and we did go up about $300. And now the market's reversed. As you can see, it's made the first profit objective, which was $1,000 right here. We're now up uh, another $1,500. And if you look at this now, remember, this is not a long-term uh, you know, chart of any sort. This is basically an hour chart. So what you're seeing is now you're seeing a three-drive to a bottom pattern forming here. So all we want to be doing now is to measure to see where we are because there's going to be, you'll see there's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three, and you'll see here the 1.27 expansion on that comes in right here at 112, uh, excuse me, at 122.12. That's down eight pips from where uh, where that's forming. Now, this is a this remember this is a 60 minute chart, folks. So you've got a lot of information. You've got it since the January 2nd, two days of information that we can look at, so we can use that. So as we look at this, we're going to blow this up just to see if there's a timing factor. And usually there is. What we're going to do now is we're going to measure from the high to the low right in here. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to measure that, okay? And then we're going to take these extra ones off. So we only have one to look at. So that means that if from this high to this low took this distance, which was 25 hours, you can see 25 hours, it should be close to 25 hours pretty soon. And as you look at this right here, 25 hours will be sometimes at the end of the day today. So watch it. Now, there's two areas to be watching for profit objective, okay? okay. The first one, of course, is right here. That's the 1.27 expansion. That comes in at 112.10. We're at 112.19 right now. And then we have the big daddy rabbit down here, the big 1.618 one, which is really important one. And they're all important, but this is even super important because if this one doesn't hold, uh, you know, treasury bonds are in big trouble. Anyway, that comes in at 121.26. The key point is it didn't go against us too much, and that's exactly what it's all about. It's all about risk control. You can't control the market. The market's going to do whatever it wants to, but this is uh, some of the timing things that we're looking at. They're very simple time counts, folks. That's all we're looking at. There's your 25 comes out in about another one, two, three, four hours. By the end of the day today, we should be bottoming here in crude oil, uh, the treasury bonds, and getting a little bit more of a bounce uh, to the next one. The next one that I am very happy to uh, bring to your attention here, even though the whole world said this one's never going to work, and me being part of the whole world, I didn't think it was going to either. But here is the uh, the little piggies. And as you can see here, we're having a monster day here in the pigs. They're up about uh, almost four cents, folks, from 65 to 69. We're almost there right now, which tells us this is probably going to be a pretty good move. And it might even, you know, give you something like that. You don't know. That's a, that's You have to wait one day at a time. But being that far ahead, what you'd want to be is lock in at least a $500 profit here in the uh, market. That's that's the way I would do it. Now, let's just look at this. This is a daily chart. Okay, let's do the same thing what we did in the treasury bonds. Let's do this with the daily with the piggies. Okay, the pigs are the hogs. There's a very heavily traded uh, market by the hedge funds, folks. It's not a small market. From the high to the low, it took, these are in days now. You took eight days, eight days down. I got to get rid of this and put this thing back where it should be. What I have to do now is go down to this right here, and then I have to use this as a default. Otherwise, it'll keep doing that. So now I know that it's eight days down in this move right here. So we've got a high up in here. So all we're going to do now is we're going to go from the high 
right here down to the low. The high is right there. Uh, right there is a the high. It misses it by one day. Now, the, the profit objective is there, 65.34. But look what's happened. We're very close. This one was eight days down. This one was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This was two days later. So there's nothing you can do about that. But you have to put a place in to buy it. And, of course, we were looking at this big ABCD right here. That's the that's the one that's running the whole show. So that's what we're watching. So we're going to get a pretty good rally in here. Uh, first, As I first mentioned here, it most probably will – duplicate what it did here that would take us up to about uh, 63 and change so it worked out well they don't always work out well but when they do it makes it uh, makes it very very comfy to see that uh, see that unfold here okay now the other one that we want to be talking about here is the wheat market folks we owe our friend mr Mr. JS over there in New Jersey, this, we've been following this for a very long time. He alerted me to it right before about an hour, well, not even an hour, but 10 minutes before it was scheduled to open because we were trading down there. We hit the, look at this, folks. You talk about a market, if you want to look, learn ABCDs, look at this. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D to absolute perfection. So that's why it's so very, very uh, interesting to uh, watch these things here, okay, unfolding. So watch this. As we look at this on an hourly chart, you'll see here when it hit it today, it, you can see the number here. It's so perfect. It hit it to the exact tick at uh, 591 and a half, and the low was, we're looking at 591.3. It can't get any better than that. Now, the rally back has been quite substantial. I think we've already made, we jumped 20 cents off the bottom, folks. That in itself tells you that there's something good about this. But if you look at this from the high that we made right back here to your low, we see we're already already a, quite a bit above the, the 382 already. Very, very important. Because looking at this on the hourly, this is a perfect hourly, folks. There's your A leg. There's your B leg. There's your C leg coming in right there at the 61% retracement. And as we pointed out before, it is none other than one of those A, B equals C, D moves. Like I say before, they don't uh, work like that all the time, but they do some of the time. And that's the key that we're watching here as we're looking at some of these things here uh, unfold. Okay, next one we want to look at is the euro. They've got a potential, uh, potential here for the euro. Let me get this up here so that we'll be able to see it. And... Uh, there's where we've been watching. We had the big move down. We've already, let's just go over and re repeat it so you can see where we've been and where we're going. There's the big ABCD to the upside, okay? Looking at this on the daily, you'll be able to see it just as clear as can be at the 78% level. Now we've had a move down. We stopped almost at the exact 61% retracement. Let's clean it up so we can see it a little better. But let's take a break and we'll get back and we'll be talking about the euro and a couple other currencies. So stay with us. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm back, and I wanted to go over this Euro chart here with you. Uh, by the way, folks, uh, there's been some interest, of course, in the thing going on in Las Vegas. Uh, it's going to be in April. It's going to be at the JW Marriott, and uh, it's going to be Tom Hugard and I trading live for the 8th, uh, 28th, uh, 27th, and 28th of April. Let's double-check that there. Uh, April 27th and it's, excuse me, let's try it again. It's the 25th and 26th of uh, April is where it's going to be. And we'll be doing, uh, it'll be 10 hours each day, and uh, we're going to have some fun. I met uh, Tom O'Brien in Las Vegas. Tom O'Brien, Tom Ugard. <laughs> yeah, met Tom, Tom O'Brien in, in, in the late 1990s. But uh, in 2004, Bryce Gilmore was giving a seminar. He came over from... Uh, from the uh, Queensland to give a seminar live trading uh, on uh, Friday, and people were came in on Thursday and live trading on Friday, and so uh, the problem was Bryce's friends from uh, the expatriates that lived in Los Angeles came over and uh, got him a little bit uh, in the party mood, and he couldn't quite make it. I couldn't quite make it was the understatement. Anyway, we were there at six o'clock in the morning, ready to start trading at five o'clock. At, at you know, it's five, at six o'clock in the morning, and uh, Mark Douglas came up to me because he and I had come over to see Bryce because we were good friends. And Rich Anderson was there, and Rich came up, and he said, Larry, he said, uh, Bryce isn't going to make it. And I said, why? He said, well, these buddies last night, and he said he just got in at 4 o'clock, and he said that they, they won't be here. And so I understood what that meant, and Mark handed me the, the uh, clicker, and he said, here, Chief, take over. And so we started trading at 6 o'clock in the morning. We went through till 2 in the afternoon. It was one of those days where – Everything worked out really good, and Tom Hugard was quite excited. He was the point man for CNBC in London for Michael Spence, Michael Michael Spencer, at City uh, at City Index, and so uh, he uh, did that until 2009, and then Mike Spencer decided to retire, and he was kind enough to give uh, Tom a tremendous going away package uh, that uh, gave him the opportunity to trade full-time and he's been uh, doing that ever since so he and i will be doing it uh, folks the difference is i i am a trader tom is a money maker he's a machine 
I mean, he, he presses like you can't believe when he's right. I'm buying and selling trades that give me a probability of winning. Good return, but what he does is totally uh, you, you'll see if you ever watch him. I mean, he's really uh, he's really amazing. Now here is the euro. Let's get back to where we were here in this euro. The rule says you sell the first three eight two in a bear market. You don't know where the bear market is, but that's what you want to do is sell the first three eight two. Here was the high in the euro up there at the seven eight six. Okay, now here it went a little above the three eight two, but then look at this came right down to it. You'll see there's had a little bit of a. This is nothing more than a three-day rally. Remember, this is this is a really small, excuse me, two-day rally right here, right at the exact 382 again. So why wouldn't you think it's not going to make it here on the next day or so? So put this limit minder in so that you'll be able to see it. What we're going to do is we're going to draw it from the top up in here. This is no different than the bonds, folks. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but this is what we want to be watching for. And you'll see here there's a couple of smaller patterns in here. It might take a little time to get up there, but there's the key number. I'm going to put that in right now so that I can watch what's going on, and we'll pay close attention to uh, what we're seeing here uh, as these things uh, unfold, okay? That's the, the main thing that we're, that we're looking at right here. Okay, now I want to get back here. I think I... Uh, I covered everything I wanted to, uh, all the things that were looking. Oh, I, the crude oil. I haven't done the crude oil. Let me get this up here. Well, I'll do this right here just for some kicks and giggles. Some people always ask me about the AI program. This is the uh, artificial intelligence program that I talk about, and I teach people how to do this. Folks, this is really easy to learn how to do this. I mean, we spent, oh, dear, I don't even want to think about the money that I spent uh, on this stuff over the years. But it basically comes down that the market repeats over and over again. You know, that's really, really, look at the low right here. Here's where it should start down from, and it does. It does it pretty good. Now, you see, it doesn't do much in here, but on the overall thing of what you're looking at it did relatively well so that's this is what we're always looking at all you have to do is to just to copy this copy this line right there you just copy that line and you notice it goes from eight o'clock to twelve o'clock i'm out uh, and i'm going to get in trouble because people are going to ask me to do this again and i don't want to do this again so pay attention <laughs> you want to know the key times of the day you, this is all in the floor traders handbook folks all that stuff with the uh the, the bonds, all that stuff is the key times of the floor traders handbook. And these are the key times, 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock. What's so hard about that? So if you got a, a bottom possibly here at 12 o'clock, take a look at it. You don't have to risk very much. If you just looked at the price objective here of crude oil, look where you are. Where do you think that was, folks? Right at the exact bada-bing, bada-boom, two hours in a row. It hit the same one. 7108, not not 7103, not 7105, 7108. Said low was 7106. Can't get any closer than that. So that's that's why you're paying very, very close attention to these. Now, as we're coming back really strong here, remember how important this bottom was. That was the 786 on the long-term daily. Let's just get this up here. So remind ourselves, and this is why you don't want to be jumping back and forth. If you're trading the daily chart, that hourly chart means nothing to you. But if you're trading a daily chart, you had a good move off your 78% level. And so what you want to be sure is that you don't lose anything on this. Make sure you'd lock in at least a thousand dollar profit because you got to risk a thousand dollars in crude oil. There's just you just it just jumps around so much that you just <laughs> it'll go 30, 40 pips and just by, because of one order. And believe me, these orders that are over there in Singapore, which is the number, believe it or not, I've heard this from three people in the business that Singapore is the leading place for crude oil trading in the world, followed closely by London and then third, New York. And that's the way I understood it. So we'll see what's happening. Even the, the Saudis run all their business through the U.S. markets and through the uh, markets in the, the financial markets of London also. Okay, now let's get on here. We've got a, another break coming up here, but I want to cover the gold market. Here's the market we had in gold. We have the uh, this is the, here was the our $64 mistake here was buying that 382. We lost on that. We came all the way down, and the market rallied back last night. 
Remember, this is just an eight-minute chart, so this has just been what's been happening today. We went up to the exact 786, a perfect example of how these algorithmic traders are in there. Now, look at this. After this high was in, you have the, the three lower tops. That's a 135 pattern. Blow that up just a tiny bit. There it is, and now it started to move down. And look what's popped up on the, on the tote board here, folks. Let's just blow this up and see how close it was. This is a 45-minute uh, rally, okay? And let's see if it stopped exactly at the 3A2. Yes, Johnny, I see you have your placard up, and it is 50%, Johnny. You flunk. Go back and sit underneath the desk with the dunce cap on. <laughs> so we'll be right back, folks. Uh, yes, I'll take my medication during the break. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I brought this hourly chart to your attention here uh, because this was the low here on the 20th of December right here. Now, you notice that everybody... Theoretically, everybody that's bought stock, this is the S&P 500. I know there's some people that didn't buy Apple, some people that did. It doesn't make any difference. It just means that in general, everybody that bought stock from the 20th of December on, okay, 
now is basically break even. That's why I pointed this out to you. Now this happens to be two standard deviations down from the mean 100 handles. So that's why that's happening right now. The rally that we have here today though, you'll see this little three hour rally didn't go very far at all, did it? So all you wanna do is to verify it, is to go back and find a high. Here, there's a three hour rally here. There was a three hour rally here and a three hour rally here. So let's just take this high level right here. That was a high spot, okay? And we're gonna go back and look. Where does it come to? Right near right near the 50% level. Goes you can see between the two. But this was a three, and it was important because that was the A, B, C, D that took you down to the bottom. That's how the Elliott Wave principle works. You know, that's really where it's all A, B, C, D. And of course, we made a lower low here. Now we've had a rally. Now we've got a setup here that I, if we get this one, boys and girls, just look out far, far north to the up there in the hinterland of where Santa Claus lives because this would be the one that will make your Christmas for next year. There's your high, X. There's your A, B, C, and D, and you go up to where it'll say 382, which will be right there, right where all this garbage came down from, and that will be what you want to be watching, okay? Okay. I don't care what time of the day or the night it is. I take a look at that because you ought to have it. When you go to bed at night, you have an order setting there, just like in the bonds at uh, 47, uh, uh, 80, yeah, 4780, and put a stop up here at uh, 4080. So you got to put a stop in here about 20 points away. Put your stop up here above 40. You know, there's a 618 level here, so you got to risk. you got to risk. Eh, I don't like that. I like to sell, but I don't like risking that much money, but you got to do it, folks. You got to sell this one here with your stop up here. Ordinarily, the maximum risk is uh, 50, um, you know, uh, 20 handles, but you got to go out to 30 handles now on this because we've got some volatility in here that could take it up to this level. But I, frankly, if it just takes three days to do this, it's not going to happen today, probably not going to happen tomorrow. So maybe early next week if this bottom can hold. If this bottom doesn't hold, then all bets are off. But if this bottom holds, coming in here on Monday and Tuesday, and Monday, of course, we know that that is a very, very important cycle date, especially if you live anywhere near Tupelo, Mississippi, because that's where the king was born on January the 8th, 19. 32 was it 35 it was 35 1935 he was a twin his uh, other brother was named Aaron uh, but he didn't make it through childbirth just a little tidbit one of my most disappointing things is I went to gateway uh, gateway uh, Gulf oh dear oh now I can't remember the name of uh, Graceland went to Graceland first time in 89 and it was just you know gearing up and uh, it was uh, it was so small, folk. It was just a little bit bigger than my house in Westlake Village. Not that it was a big house, but that was a mansion back in the '50s. But in California, they had those big obstetrician those houses that were a little too big. Anyway, it was only like 3,500 square feet. It was not like a. It was not like I think it was like four or five thousand feet. It was, didn't seem much different. The kitchen was the same size. The living room was smaller. Anyway, that was a unit there. But uh, let's move on here to the next one. We want to talk about that gold market since we're uh, on it right now. Oh, I do want to. I did. I want to show you. I'm a, um, just to give you right here, right here, something I really wanted to do today and I didn't. And I'll just sh using because this is a 60 minute. Go down to let's say a four minute here. <clears throat> and here's the market took off right here from this was there there was your exact 61 percent retracement and then i kept looking for a 382 all morning long to try to get the 382 to buy it you see here this misses it by a penny here the next time it goes up a little higher and i just kept following it up it didn't get filled on any of them because there was no there was no pullback at all on any of these to give you a chance for a 382 so uh, missed that part of it, but that's that's neither here nor there. But there was a buy, just absolute. With thank Jeff there in New Jersey because it was just as perfect as you could possibly imagine. That is what Gartley talked about. Number of days down. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Those are the kind you like to see. You should get them all, but you don't. And that's what trading is all about. Okay, let's move on here to uh, cover that. Oh, need to cover the NASDAQ. Someone ask, take care of the NASDAQ here. That's always an interesting one to look at. And uh, move over here. This is an hourly chart for the NASDAQ. There's your standard deviation right down there. Boy, it hasn't bounced. Boy, you talk about it. This hasn't even moved at all to the downside. But the uh, fact is, let's take a look at it. Since it's made its high back here on the 28th, okay, it's had several rallies. This one, let's just see how, see how, see if it's following its game plan. Okay, there's the first rally right here. The next rally uh, was pretty much right there. The next rally was pretty much right there. The next rally didn't quite make it, and this one did it also. So until we get above here, we're still moving to the downside. But again, there's that possibility that we could be looking at this pattern right here. Let's just go to a smaller time frame so we can see it really clearly. There it is. Hello, operator. Get this up here and take a quick look at it. I hope you guys don't get too bored at this stuff. I could do this for till the cows come home, and we don't even have cows here in Tucson. We have cattle. Hold on here. A, B, C, D. We could be looking at a nice rally here, up another uh, 170 points without any trouble at all. And we want to find out what that is going to be, if it's going to be the you-know-what, the old magic number. It's not even going to be close because look at this, folks. From the high we made way back here on the second, that was the big high. And you come down and you look here. It comes in at, oh, my gosh, it comes in at the devil's number, 16,666. This is what the Dow bottomed at on no, uh, March the 5th of 2009. I believe the Dow was trading at... Uh, no, it was trading at 666, maybe. I don't remember. 66, yeah, 666, not 16,000. Anyway, this is the 382 of the move in the uh, the NASDAQ. So keep that on your watch board because that might happen. Well, that could happen tomorrow. It could happen today. It might not happen until Tuesday. It might not happen at all. I don't know. But that's what we want to be watching. And watch that 382. That's no different than the thing we looked at here uh, in the bonds. Uh, they don't always work that way, like I say, but when you have, uh, like what, what Louis Pasteur, my favorite quote there is, uh, chance favors the prepared mind. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, I believe a lucky caller has gotten through. How, I don't know. Ronnie, are you there? You have somebody from Naples, Florida there today? Maybe Norm is uh, chatting with him out in the parking lot. Who knows? Anyway, he had a question about natural gas, UNG. I believe this is the, uh, e uh, what do you call it, thing, the uh, ETF for it. Anyway, uh, if you'll notice here from your high down to your low, we are making a 382. Uh, we've made it in the uh, futures market. Oh, that's not true. We got another 10 points to go. But here we are at 582. That's 12 cents from where we are right now. Big move up. So you'll notice that the uh, bottom was a perfect 1.618 expansion of the move from the June high up till the August low, right on the money. That's why those numbers of 1.618 are so very, very important. That's the last train from from Boot Hill, folks. And that, I don't know if you ever come to Tucson and go over to Tombstone, Arizona to see the OK Corral and the uh, the Jewish National Cemetery there, which is, uh, that's what it is. Boot Hill was a Jewish National Cemetery, and it still is. It's maintained meticulously. If you want to have some fun, Google Tombstone and read the tombstones themselves. My favorite is, uh, here lies Lester Moore, shot four times with a 44, no less no more. And there are so many of them that are like that that are really, really funny. <laughs> and well, they're not funny if you were dying, but you know, they're funny in history, I guess. Anyway, it's a cute, cute little place to be over there in Tucson. As a matter of fact, in 1865, when Tucson was uh, founded, um, Tombstone was bigger than Tucson. Tombst Tombstone was bigger than Tucson, and it was bigger than the city of Los Angeles. It didn't last very long because Los Angeles grew a little bit faster because Tombstone uh, became a ghost town. Not many ghosts left. All right, let's take a look here, get back to where we want to be talking about. Evidently, I missed uh, I missed Ronnie on the phone there. Let me double check with uh, TFNN. My, uh, yeah, we missed Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. I hope that helps you, but it looks like uh, – this is where uh, UNG should stop. This is a 382 rally in a bear market, so I'd be really careful uh, going along here. Wait for a pullback if you want to be a buyer. But uh, right now, it uh, doesn't uh, appear to be uh, something I'd want to own right now. Now, let's look at the uh, Russell. This is one that's had a big run here. Look at the 61% retracement here. Um, if you'll remember here, let's go back. If you remember at the October low, that's the low for everything. And then we had this move right here to the 50%. Then we go sideways. And then, of course, here is when the Dow Jones went wacko to the upside and it pulled everything up with it. Now, what's happened now is because this could be super bullish, folks. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm trying to keep an open mind on this. I, uh, I had a closed mind on here that was the right way, but I didn't get the position that I wanted. But there's the number 
that you want to be watching here is this 382 off of this whole thing. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take and if it's going to get here, but watch this because if it takes uh, like six, seven, eight days or through the rest of this uh, cycle period that ends on the 13th, I believe, let's check. Yeah, it ends on the 13th, uh, the f uh, Friday of next week. Then we'll be looking at something that could be, you know, really, really spectacular to the upside. All I know is the volatility is going to be increasing. We've seen it already the first few days of the week. Fortunately, we got on the right side of a couple of these, and that always helps. That's all you really need to uh, to do it is when you when you do that, get on the right side and let one of those puppies run, and then you'll see uh, – what they can do and that's what you're looking for okay now someone asked a question about the japanese yen give me one second and we'll get this up here take a look at it oh dear i gotta do it with the forex this is correct there it is right there there's forex right here okay and you'll see here we're getting that rally right off of that little three drive bottom we pointed that out i think a couple days ago we must have because there it is right on the chart and we've rallied from 44 to 41. How high is the rally going to go? Well, look, 382 didn't hold it. 61 didn't hold it. But 786 held it for a while. Then it went below it. Now it's having a rally. We're having a bear market rally, folks. That's what this is. Because you've got lower tops and lower bottoms. Since November, we're in a bear market. So you got to treat it as such. So you go up to your top level right here. Yes, Johnny, i got it clicked in here for you, buddy. Keep waving that little card because where is it sitting at right now? Yes, boys and girls, you can't make this up. And honest to God, I just saw it for the first time. We're within five pips of the 382 retracement up here, folks. So keep a close eye on this one. That's going to be one that uh, I will be getting ready to sell here. It's a 62 and the 60, yeah, 30 pips away is all it is. So pay close attention. Let's look at it with a bird's eye view so everybody can see it really clearly there's the number we're looking at right here there's the high that we were looking at right there you put it in and you can see we is knocking on the door right now there it's already hit it so there's the number i would be selling the japanese yen excuse me i'd be selling u.s dollar against the japanese yen going long in short dollar in here and we will be looking at this tomorrow when we're on the air and of course um Stan Harley will be our guest at the break here. And so anyway, that's what we're paying attention to here with this. And we have a question about the British pound. Got a lot of people coming over from Britain to go to our seminar in Las Vegas, which will be a whole lot of fun and a lot of work. It's not, you know, it's actually, it's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to, well, it is fun. It's supposed to be work, but it isn't. Okay, here's the British pound. Okay, here's where we are at the British pound. It's weaker can see it is weaker than the uh actually no they're about the same the the dow there was a it made uh it, it didn't even get it went between the fifth the 61 percent and 78 is what it did right there okay it all it did we pointed this out before there was a smaller one but there was another another pattern right in here with the pound there's your low right here see that little four-day correction there's your a b leg there's your cd leg right there 128 and we went all the way down to 126 what have we done so far today we're having a little two-day rally so being trained uh, watching cross rates you go down to your 60-minute uh, chart and see what it says there's blow this up so we can see it there's our high way back here let's see if this was a 61 percent retracement and it's only at the 50%. So you want to watch it. You want to get an ABCD, folks. And there's not what not much looking at right here. Now, there is a possibility of an ABCD coming in here with the pound from this level on the downside. In other words, this could hold this level here down about another 40 pips. So if you want to go along the pound, that's the place to look at it right there. Okay? Right in here around 126.35, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. Anywhere in this area with a stop right below there, that's what you could do. You can see on the way down, when the market broke to the downside, we always look for the first 382 retracement. I think it went to 50%, probably up, went exactly to 50%. I can't tell you why it does that sometimes, but it'll go from 382 to 50%. If it gets above here, it's no good. Get out of Dodge. But then you want to watch it because, see, after it comes down and makes a lower low, 
that means the next high is going to be pretty much pretty much spot on another 50 percent and look what you have here one three five folks and there's where you get the big daddy rabbit can't be the end of the show shut the front door and raise her in we'll be right back boys and girls If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Um, okay, folks, now this is uh, natural gas. I hope uh, Mr. Uh, Ron down in Naples is listening, but uh, this is a futures behind that ung but anyway you'll notice the high was made back in november at 366 we came down in really nice format of a b c d style there's your a b leg there's your cd leg made the bottom down in here now we've made a retracement here now here again we're just very simple let's just clean it out a little bit we got to go quickly because we don't have a lot of time here but you want to count the number of days up in the move here the number of days up in the move here those are equal eight days up eight days up you want to see where the 382 retracements going to come in here and as you can see here it came in here at uh, 80 uh, well, 777 the high has been uh, 85 and it's trading at 79 but that is an ABCD pattern I'm going to draw it in so you'll be able to see it but that's one we got to follow up for tomorrow because if you're going to sell it there 
<clears throat> your buy stop has got to be right above here. You got to risk 10 handles, excuse me, 20 handles on that or $1,000 because uh, it jumps around just like all the others. You can't get it too close, but it'd be close enough. This was really neat, though, if you remember when this thing started down, how it stopped at the 382s all the time. Look at that. Four days in a row, it stopped right at the 382. Uh, this is you got to follow that, folks. That's a that's a that's a real money maker. So those are the things that we're paying attention to today. Tomorrow's guest will be uh, Stan Harley uh, of Harley Stock Market Letter. I got great news. He's going to be back here in California, this Arizona, uh, for the month of January and February. So a part of January, part of February. So we're going to hang out and get some buddies together and tell stories. And uh, they're always fun to listen to. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Uh, and may God bless. And uh, do something kind for your neighbors, folks. 